Hey guys, this is Andrew 24 Well here with some Battlefield 3 gameplay in the background with some commentary. So, uh, in this game, I think uh, this is like probably one of my worst games overall. Basically, because the other team's weapons were fairly shotguns and that kind of stuff, so I kind of sucked at that. I'm not really used to that kind of stuff. <clears throat> So, um, for today's commentary, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, keeping your computer clean after you build it and stuff like that. So, something that people don't take into consideration after building a computer or buying a computer is taking care of it. A computer is just like a pet, you have to do stuff for it, and you have to clean it, you have to do all that, that kind of stuff. So, people usually don't do that. Uh, people have a con aspect, conception that you should not clean, do anything with your computer and just let it run. Um, well, your computer's not going to last long um, if you built it or you, if you don't dust it off often, which is like one of the main things you're supposed to do with your computer or if you don't install that kind of stuff. So, Okay, let's see what you can do after you build your new computer or over a period of time after you build your computer. So first thing you want to think of is always, always software updates and um, Windows updates or Mac updates or whatever operating system you have installed into your computer because that's very vital for your computer's performance, of course. Um, also install drivers for your graphics card, um, not really your motherboard, unless you have HD audio or something like that. Um, but always install the drivers, you will see and a performance game in, into that. Um, also, now for, that's for like software stuff, always keep, okay, well this is software and physical, but you always want to keep your computer fans and temperatures those types of things really do matter in a computer so do not um, take 70 degrees celsius as an okay thing if your cpu is running that running on that usually you do not know that it's kind of crappy on pre-built systems because the company really does not give living shit on your computer's fans, CPU, um, heatsink, and that kind of stuff. They just use the default one because they don't really give a crap. So, building your own PC, you can actually take in, uh, I guess, take into consideration better types of parts instead of just the main components, but they're like fans and kind of that cases and that kind of stuff. So, always make sure you have some I guess good temperature keeping material in your computer like good CPU heatsink or fan, many fans and a good case with airflow. Um, you can stress more about that it's more it's like a component really because if you do not keep your temperatures at an all right temp obviously then you're gonna have problems in the future maybe your CPU won't last or GPU won't last long and that can happen even if you overclock so now what about how do you change your fan speeds because they're all different by default well the, basically your GPU fan speeds are different than your CPU fan speeds usually your CPU fan speeds will be at a hundred percent once you start up your computer or buy from the Best Buy or something like that, or Staples or Office Depot, or eBay or Amazon or wherever you bought your computer, and then you're gonna have to you go you're going to have to change the fan speed in the actual computer, and that's possible, very possible. You just have to download it, probably this program called MSI Afterburner or Asus GPU Tweak or something like that. And it will give you the option to change your um, your fan speeds. Now it should be at 10% for your GPU, and that is very 
very low. You want to at least get it to 50%, but not 100 or 80 or 70 because that will stress out your fans over time. Only when you're overclocking you should put it that at least that high. But in the future you should put it a little bit more higher uh, in increments, not too much. So look, at 50% you need to change it to 100 that fast. That's just saying it's going to ruin everything so you want to keep it going over time because over time the temperatures are going to get worse they're not going to get any better unless you don't run games or um, CPU or GPU intensive programs so that's it um, since we're running a little bit low on time I the next thing you want to consider about physically is your dust dust is everywhere um, it's everywhere in the air, so you can't avoid it. The computers need to suck it in with the fans. So, the easiest way to get rid of it is getting um, compressed air in a can and just spraying that on. Open your case, make sure your computer's off. If you do that, you are screwed basically. Because what dust does is it goes on with, example, for example, the GPU, PCB, and it damages it if there's a lot of dust collected up it's just like a hand I guess the best way to describe it and it just gains up on the PCB and the actual graphics card so imagine your hand being on the graphics card for a long time obviously you're gonna see some damage over time so that's why you really need to clean out your PC over time it the main part it affects is your fans and all that kind of stuff because all the dust is attracted from there so all the dust goes there and you only have some I guess problems in the future if you do not clean out that dust uh, it will create fan problems and that kind of stuff and CPU and temperature problems at some points rarely but nevertheless you always have to keep sure you clean off your dust um, sometimes it can build up on top of the case um, near where the fan bends those hexagon things I guess and they will collect dust there that's easy you can just get a napkin kind of and scrape it off but inside I really do not recommend doing that so yeah well that's it guys thanks for watching bye